Good evening, Excellence, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the German uh, Federal um, Foreign Office and the German Archaeological uh, Institute for the invitation and for the organization of this uh, important conference. So as you see, I will present CIMAT, it's a new uh, Syrian association. CIMAT is a non-profit association for the study and preservation of the Syrian heritage, founded in Germany in 2018. It's run by experts in the field of archaeology, conservation, and heritage preservation. Our mission, Syrian for Heritage, CIMAT, is a cultural association that strives to preserve the Syrian heritage for all Syrians and for the world. Through our tangible and intangible heritage, we can comprehend our past and anticipate our future. This understanding will help us rediscover our priority, re restore our sense of belonging to our land and country, and achieve our hopeful, peaceful future. CIMAT is an exclusive association. It insists to broadening the discourse on, of Syrian, on Syrian heritage to, to encompass diverse pers perspectives, including those that have historically been excluded for a variety of reasons. CIMAT engaged civil society in Syria and the Syrian diaspora and collaborate with concerned international organizations in the service of heritage education, excavation, and conservation. CIMAT's aim to challenge intended and unintended infringement on and appreciation of Syrian art, culture, and architecture, and promote the study and appreciation of Syrian heritage locally and internationally. Our approach. CIMAT considers the heritage in its totality, from the archaeological remains of the first settlement in the Syria to the present uh, cultural and artistic production. CIMAS consists of a number of Syrian experts in the various fields of heritage study, preservation, and production, covering a wide array of knowledge and representing the mosaic of the Syrian people. CIMAT follows its independence from all political parties, Syrian or non-Syrian while maintaining a fundamental affinity to Syria, its land, history, cultural, and peoples. Our goals, reconceptualize nation of cultural heritage, using Syria as example to be more inclusive of all cultural sharing a land and a history. Prioritize Syrian voices, efforts, and actions in the protection and preservation of the Syrian heritage, capitalize on the accumulated knowledge and experience and empower Syrians to lead in preserving their heritage. CIMAT enjoy a wide network of contact inside and outside Syria, and it's set to organize and empower the Syrian cultural workers dispersed around the world to reclaim control over their heritage and to develop sensible ways to deal with the urgent and long-term conservation and study. A wide variety of Syrian men and women active in art, music, literature, and academia are solicited by CIMAT to participate in the preservation of the Syrian cultural heritage. CIMAT's efforts are not limited to tangible heritage, but also aim to add the preservation of intangible heritage that shapes Syrian identity and highlight its contribution to international cultural heritage. Our program. Before, about, <clears throat> before talking about our program or projects, I would like to point out that as a Syrian specialist and archaeologist, we have worked as a team and over the past years uh, to implement many projects for the protection of the Syrian heritage already mentioned by Dr. Brian Daniel. Thanks. And now, as a Syrian association, we systematically follow up our goal. Our projects are divided into several axes. The first one is protection and emergency intervention to save buildings, sites, and artifacts. As what has already been implemented in Idlib Museum, uh, Albara, Frikia, and other sites in Dead Cities area. At Albara, as you see in this image, 
the protection was limited to the current phase of the restoration and consolidation of one wall of the monastery, Der Subat, which was attacked and a number of stone were removed on the side of the door of this monastery, which will expose the, the wall and maybe all the building to collapse. In order to prevent this disaster, the missing stone had been be responsive and the void in the wall was filled. Idlib Museum project. In 2012, as you know, the Directorate General of Antiquity and the Museum undertook several uh, measures to safeguard the Idlib Museum. All artifacts were moved to a secret storeroom in the basement. All walls were built to hide the doors and all opening leading to storage. In 2015, it will become under the control of the opposition, and hence the city has been repeatedly bombarded. The bombardment had at last damaged the museum twice, in 2015 and in 2016, which affected the museum and exposed it, exposed it to organized looting by armed groups. Our work at the Adlib Museum, this image, the situation in the storage when we arrived in the museum. Our work at the, at the Adlib Museum began in ab April 2018. The objective of this project are to protect and preserve the remaining artifact and to rehabilitate the museum storage. The initial step was to restore the damaged parts of the museum and to reinforce its outer wall which secured the building and stopped the water luggage in the storage. Three months later, a documentation process of all objects has been launched to identify missing objects and to assess the condition of existing objects. The start was from the Ibla storage that included the cuneiform collection. All tablets and artifacts have been secured in cabinet and documented, as you see in this image. In the, you right, the before our work and after, in the question, after our work. The cabinet have also been numbered and resupplied with the new protection materials. Currently, the intervention, the, un, the involuntary is being translated to English. Also, a list of missing looting objects is began, de, uh, began def, developed containing details, information, and picture that will be shared with relevant parties. Yes, this other image from the storage of the museum before and after our work. Always these icons before and after the, our work. The second act, community participation in the protection process. This is done through the implementation of Hikaya project, already with the, we uh, Brian already spoke about this project. We started with the uh, sushi project, and now we continue uh, this project uh, with CIMAT. Hikaya is a, a heritage preservation initiative that focuses on the participation and the empowerment of the local communities living in nearby village to the world heritage sites of the ancient village of northern Syria. The aim of the project is to ensure the sustainability sustainability of the site, the traditional local crafts, and the different forms of cultural expression by interrogating the community's way of life and supporting their well-being. The third act, building a new relationship between the Syrians and their heritage. This is what we seek through organizing lecture, exhibition, publication, and many workshops and family meeting as the activity you see in the image, activity of Beit Nana in Berlin and other projects in Turkey, Germany, France, and other countries. The last act and the most important one is the academic one. Through this program, we will enable Syrian specialized and archaeologists to build themselves in the required form to follow up the protection and the conservation work they carry out. This program will also help us to build the young generation of students and graduate of university and institute and provide them with all skills and experience. And therefore, we will be able to really own them in any reconstruction or recon conservation on any emergency or long-term uh, long preservation. This will be done 
through the training workshop that we seek to organize and e-courses, and this is what we are currently working on. Finally, I would like to thank all those who helped us in the foundation of this association, and especially the organization of Gerda Henkel, the Smithsonian Institute, and Pennsylvania University and National Geographic. For more information about us, about this about you can go to our website, syriansforhobitage.org. And thank you for your attention.